hi guys you are welcome back to prospect channel tv thank you very much for always having you here please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you have not thank you very much once again may god bless you all peter obi and kwan kwasu not merging is good news for obi supporters charles awozi there was widespread report about Rabi Kwan Kwasu indicating that a merger between him and Peter Obi, the presidential flag bearer of the Labour Party, would be impossible. The report states that Rabi Kwan Kwasu, the former governor of Kanu State, considers himself more qualified than Obi to be his running mate. This recent statement from Mr. Kwan Kwasu has been interpreted by many as a signal that the Labour Party and the New Nigerian People's Party, NNPP, won't be emerging in the upcoming 2023 presidential election. Meanwhile, Charles, a cyber security expert based in South Africa, has assured Obita Obi supporters that the turnout of event will be a blessing in disguise. He stated that Conquasi not merging with the former governor of Anambra State, we now mean that he will dilute Atiku's votes in the north. This, he said, we give room for the 2023 election to be fairly contested between Ahmed Tunubu and Peter Obi, as Obi will still Ghana vote from the north. Why conquering the southeast? Why Tunubu will overshadow the southwest? Why gathering some vote from the north? And these have also generated reactions by Nigerians. Let him stay in his party. Let him stay in his party so that his, it won't collapse. He is only interested in his party, not collapsing. But Nigerians are dying every day. Selfish people. It's time we wake up. You said it all, my brother. Even if he accepted to be deputy to Obi, I don't trust him. He's so desperate of ambitions. Remember what happened to Tabowe and Wike? He will betray Obi at last. That is a complex. That is a complex for you. That is the way they always think. Don't mind him and the likes. We are obedient. We will stand on our own and we will still make it. Okay, these are reactions by Nigerians. My dear, you are 100% right. To hear with anyone who refuses to emerge, let God choose a good vice that will be obedient. Nigeria, it doesn't need a proud old rulers. I have always said that Konkwasu was only wasting Obi's time. Let him go to either Middlebert or go for Zulu of North. The East Zulu is a, a moderate Muslim. Hmm. Personally, I have doubts about Kwan dis disposition to be a good and loyal vice president. He does not have the futures that Obi has that made him to be masses, especially the youth. The favorite candidate, Kwan belongs to the establishment class like Atiku and Tinubu that wants to maintain the, the status quo of bad governance. Peter Obi's popularity is increasing daily and with obedient movement spreading even to core north, he will win 2023 presidency with at least 75% vote without Kwan Kwasu. Perhaps this Kwan Kwasu man is not as patriotic as many Nigerians thought and his love for Nigerian youth and good governance was grossly exaggerated. What makes him feel he cannot defeat Tunubu or Atiku by himself? Okay, what makes him feel he can defeat Tunubu and Atiku by himself, even in a free and fair election? And must the Fulanis remain in power by all means? Yes, Conquasu is part of the old bridge we want to cross. Conquasu is self centered person what are you looking at now is where leaders will be servant 
Kwanukwasu can't fit in this new Nigeria that is void of looting, killing, selflessness, selfishness. Obedience is the way forward. We don't need any measure here. Join this train once you have value for your fellow humans. Obi will defeat him, even in Kanun State and the entire North. Many people don't know about Kwanukwasu's dis disloyalty to Gulag Jonathan in the 2015 post. Very good. They are saying his true color. Kwanukwasu, the youth did not support for your president in his Peter Obi youth support for president and you, vice president. If you don't want, go and build your party so that it will not collapse. Okay? Kwanukwasu not expecting vice president to be a blessing in this guy's to Obi is too ambitious. May betray Obi in the end. Obi should look for someone else from the North Central to be his vice president. This election should be between all. Okay, I can't take that. I can't really get it. I'm sorry about that. It shows Kwanukwasu is with them. The more difficult it looks, I believe, the smoother the way to the top. Let the various parties go to their way and contest. Exactly. Please let Kwanquasi go. He is too proud and arrogant for my liking. Which experience is he talking about? What has he achieved in life without the public post? Obi is and was a major shareholder in three banks, chairman of one at 39 years, private achievement, not public opportunities. Okay, guys. These are some reactions by Nigerians, as you can see. Obi supporters are saying that they are cool without Kwan Kwasu. So if Kwan Kwasu think that it's the last bus stop, this is a blessing in disguise, they said. I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you very much for all this coming out here. Bye for now.